Watch. We're learning new information about a story we've been following for more than a year. The autopsy results are out for Dominique Lennon. Bullets struck and killed the former ECU football player in June of last year. The shooting happened in Raleigh. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the medical examiner's findings released this afternoon. Nine of your science, Brandon Truitt has been working through that report. Brandon, what can you tell us? Shayla, according to the autopsy, Lennon was shot 19 times. The report also tells us more on what led up to his death, including the role drugs played in the shooting. I'm at the Bahama Breeze on Wake Forest Road, and I think I just woke past somebody getting shot. I'm not sure. It's about 10 o'clock. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. That's the 911 call starting it all. Shots fired in the parking lot of the Bahama Breeze in Raleigh. When police arrived, they found 24 year old Anthony Dominique Lennon face down in the parking lot. On Thursday, the state medical examiner's office releasing the official autopsy. It shows the former ECU football player was shot 19 times. Entrance wounds all over his body. The report says Lennon was shot over a drug deal. The shooting occurred because Lennon lost drugs being transported from Seattle. According to the report, 10 bullets were pulled from his body. Many of the wounds had entry and exit points. When the shooting happened last June, Nine on Your Side caught up with the one coach who worked with Lennon in 2015. I thought that he had an impact on those around him uh, from a leadership standpoint. And I thought that he contributed significantly to uh, what happened on the field. Um, and so I think we'll all just remember him for his contribution to this program and uh, being one of the Pirates. Lennon played defensive back for the Pirates from 2011 to 2015, starting nearly all the games his senior year. Investigators say Lennon moved to Virginia after his time at ECU, then moved to Raleigh before his death. The autopsy also revealed that Lennon was getting paid to make similar drug transfers. Five people have been arrested in connection with Lennon's death, as many are left tonight with these new details on how it all happened. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thank you. As Brandon mentioned, there have been arrests related to Lennon's death. Raleigh police are charging 33-year-old Ashanti Bennett with Lennon's murder. Bennett is from Greenville. Three others face charges related to the murder. You can see them here on your screen. Jamar Allen, Wontavious Jackson, and Clifton Spellman all have cases making their way through the court. There is also a fifth suspect who is not pictured with relating charges.